Hey guys, Alex here at Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, where I was not born and raised. However, my mom did live right here on the Credit Woodlands back in the early 90s. Actually, no, I would say mid 90s. And uh, I'm gonna tell you a bit about that uh, as I go along here. It's a very beautiful but still hot day today, but it's the last month of summer. Who's looking forward to fall? I am. Okay, well, I like summer, but I feel like I'm a bit, uh, I feel like I'm tired of it. Look at that view down Dundas Street West, which cuts across Mississauga. It's known as Highway 5. And yeah, this is, I guess this is what you call the uh, west end of Mississauga, right? Which is in uh, the regional municipality of Peel. And uh, I got off the uh, the six Credit Woodlands bus. Not, I think if, I think it was like a 500 meter walk from there. Oh my god! It felt like I was, felt like, it felt like a long ass bus ride. It took a while, but I still got some video out of it though. And yeah, it is the beginning of afternoon rush hour here in the Mississauga, or as locals refer to it as Saga. And as you know, it's a uh, native word. But yeah, my mom lived uh, 500 meters north of here on the Credit Woodlands along with her sister. But I don't think that townhouse is there anymore because I saw a fairly built house at 3202 on it. And she was at 3201, I believe. And this neighborhood is known as Arendelle Woodlands or the Credit Woodlands, but the Google Maps says Arendelle Woodlands because we are near like Arendelle Station and the surrounding area. And I'm gonna do a little walking video heading east along Dundas Street West. And of course, Dundas is one of the longest streets in the GTA. As I, as I mentioned, it is basically Ontario Highway 5. And then it merges into, uh, and then I think it's somewhat, uh, yeah, it continues into the city of Toronto. And then, you know, you know what happens next. And I've never been on in this part of town on a foot before. And uh, what is it today? It is the second day of September 2022. We have a long weekend coming up. Yes, Canada and the United States have Labor Day on Monday. So uh, hopefully you guys are going to have a great long weekend. But uh, <laughs> this is my last weekend of summer break. And then Tuesday, I start classes at University of Toronto. But which campus, though? Speaking of U of T, actually, the reason why this neighborhood is referred to as the Credit Woodlands is because this neighborhood is on the east side of the Credit River, which is basically just between, uh, I think it's just west of the Credit Woodlands is a bridge. I run across in the Credit River is University of Toronto's Mississauga campus, also known as UTM. But which campus am I going to? Am I going to Mississauga, St. George, or Scarborough? And I wanted to uh, come back to Mississauga and, uh, and film a few walking videos here. I know I'm a bit, I'm a bit late, but uh, just figured when I do a walking video on one of Mississauga's through fairs. So maybe I'll end this video up at uh, Mavis Road, and then I'll take Mavis probably north to uh, Burden Fork. Also, reason why the bus ride on the 6th Street took long is because these, a lot of my way's routes, they just go in different directions or even like circuits and not even like TTC's uh, routes. I took the, uh, the uh, 109 Meadowville Express on the Mississauga Transitway from Kipling Terminal. And of course the city center, I transferred to the six bus, which took me down here. So let me tell you about, a little bit about my, uh, you know, how my mom came here. Not into detail though. She went to high school around here, but I think it was for just one year. And she told me you know, she didn't really like Mississauga because she missed, uh, she missed the big city life. Again, Mississauga is, one of uh, many suburbs in Toronto, of course, this is known as the Greater Toronto Area. 
It's a nice looking uh, Ferrari there. I think it was a Ferrari. And uh, it was like early, mid 90s. My mom moved from Scarborough and reluctantly came out here. And she didn't really like living here because you know how far, it's no offense to those that live here in Mississauga, but you know, when you're living in a suburb like Toronto, obviously, you know, you gotta think about how long it's gonna take to get to uh, the big city, and uh, that's what she missed the most. A lot of her friends were there, even though she made a lot of new ones here. And I think the high school she went to was the Credit Woodlands High School. Is that what it was called? Could be wrong. Here's Old Carriage Road and the Westdale Apartments. <sighs> I've done a walking video on the street before, but it was on uh, Dundas Street East, except it was heading in the ever direction from Coffra to uh, here, Ontario. In fact, I want to do, I think the next time I come back to Mississauga, it's probably going to be along Dixie Road, Burden Fork, or even, uh, uh, Whoa, that's a nice old car here. It's a Danny Sons, uh... Okay, my camera just blocked out. Hold on. I have no idea what happened. I mean, the clips are safe, but, uh... When I was looking at it, it was black. And then I, I hit the, the, uh, the record button to stop it. I heard the beep as usual. I checked it, my video was still there. I don't know what happened. I have no idea what the hell happened. But... <laughs> Anyway, sorry about that, guys, but, uh, uh, if it, because I did mention, you know, the camera blacked out, but if I were to play the video, the clip when I get home, I can actually see if it, if it happened or not, but there's the number one route, the, the local Dundas bus, that's a new flyer, uh, D60, uh, LF, D60, I think that was the bus I was on, too, on the 6 route. And this is the Westdale Plaza, Fresh Co, Chuck's Row House, Winners. Of course, it's a Tim's Dollarama. I got these everywhere. This guy's like running. Where's he heading to? Where is he heading to? I think that's Arendelle Station Road up ahead. Not too far from here is a Go Commuter train station, Arendelle. But I think that's on Burnham Fort, but Road and Arendelle, I think. If I'm not mistaken, we passed it on the way here. There's a new flyer articulated bus. Probably from the late 2010s. I still haven't been on, I still don't really know a whole lot of my way's fleet though. I'll, you know, I always do my research. You know, I go up on the Canadian Public Transit Discussion Board website. There's a 101 route, I've been on that before. That basically goes all the way to Kipling Station. And of course, you know, over the years, Metrolinx, TTC, Go Transit, they've been coming up with, you know, like strategies to provide regional connections and have transit, you know, integrated. We we'll have a few features integrated, like, you know, Presto and stuff, which is a good benefit to have a Presto card. Here's, a pe here's the Pizza Pizza, which I passed on the bus. And here's Glengarry Road on the right and Arendelle Station on the left. Well, Arendelle Station Road at least. And technically we're heading northeast. The geography of Mississauga is not perfect. Okay, what is this, what is this person doing here blocking the, the crosswalk? Oh my god. How hard is it for you to step behind the frickin' line? Like the white line right there, how hard is it for you? Oh, see, see, like, uh, okay, I know this guy was getting ready to turn it, but still. Josh Anderson restaurant. Isn't Josh Anderson a NHL player? Anyway, it's a candidate for the thumbnail. As it's now 3.17 p.m. And we have a long weekend ahead of us. And I can't you believe that we're already in September, we're in the final four months of the year. 
I think 2022 this is just one of these years that just goes by so fast. You don't even notice. It feels like yesterday that we stepped into this year. And that was when I was like really expanding myself into making content. And here I am at like at like 955 subs. I am very close to getting to the big 1000s. And guys, please get me up there. I would really appreciate it. But I'm not sure if it really matters because a lot of you guys, like yourself, that watch my videos aren't even subscribed. So like, what the hell does it even, uh, does it matter? But still, if you're subscribed, I thank you. And if you really enjoy walking videos like this, as well as like transit rides and many others, even though I am gonna be slowing down on it because I'm gonna be worked up with university stuff, but still subscribe anyway. I'm probably gonna make an update video probably either tomorrow or Sunday. Monday, I won't really have time to do anything. But on the plus, on the positive side, I still have a bank of videos dating back to like July, early August. I've been filming almost every single day. So that's what I think, and I plan to get this channel monetized. So, I'm gonna try to swear less on my videos, or even cut it. Otherwise, that really affects the monetization, and it gets demonetized, or you get like multiple strikes for that. There's some semi-detached townhouses, cookie cutter style, and some low-rise apartments. Mississauga used to be super undeveloped back then. It was like in the 80s, 90s, sort of when my mom lived, there, lived around here. Expansion grew. My way does have a very good uh, bus system. At least it has a bus rapid transit uh, system called the My Express. Oh, he's going fast here. Holy shit. Here comes a new flyer. I haven't seen a Nova bus here in a while. I did see one of the, the brand new uh, hybrids at City Center Terminal. In fact, how am I gonna get home is the question, actually, because if I head up Mavis Road, I'll be at Burdenforp. If I can either take the Burdenforp or Rathburn bus to City Center, I don't think I'll go into square one this time, but if I need to get like cold water to drink, I will. Probably inside the shoppers that's there. Not sure why people used to hate on the uh, the, the Excelsiors back then. I think they look kind of nice. But I think it really depends on the transit system. These flyers from Winnipeg, Manitoba. As we're crossing Cedar, Cedar Glen uh, Gate. Again, Mississauga is huge. There's a lot of other streets I can film walking videos on. Oh. Besides here on Ontario, I'm definitely gonna cover uh, Dixie Road, maybe Tomkin Road. Here in Mills Parkway, we'll see. But as you guys know, Saga is like, it's, like, it's kind of far from me, so. What are the odds of that happening? I'm just here enjoying my last few days of summer before I get worked out and I'll definitely won't have time to be uh, filming things. Though I, I'll definitely try my best to stay active, but the good thing is a lot of videos coming your way. But by the time you see this, it's probably gonna be like late September, early October.
Yeah, so I could take the Rapper bus to City Center Terminal. And then I could take the same bus route. I think it's the uh, the 109 I was on. Take it to Redfirth, and I take the 32 bus because I'm gonna stop over at Kiel's Hotel once for dinner. But uh, I want to make a video. I mean, not actually directly up at TTC. But really, I kind of want the 32 Eglinton West to be extended to Pearson Airport because if the 332 night bus route goes to the airport, why can't the 32 do that? And especially that the Eglinton line will be will be going out the way for like for the next 15 years. The Metrolinx is studying it. Still, that would be a good uh, thing. I'm not gonna go deep into that because obviously as you can see I'm not in Toronto but the streets look rather uh... okay they're busy but there's not a whole lot of cars on the road if we were in like the east end of the city it would be a different uh, thing With all the traffic is you know Toronto is very congested I was also thinking of getting a lanyard, not a lanyard, but a, a camera strap. You see so many people with these digital cameras that have their straps on. The thing is though, quality may be good, but it might be shaky for some people. I'm sorry, what can I do? But uh, I'm gonna look into getting a strap and then I could be like, I could just like walk like free of anything. Hell, like I, I can even eat as I'm filming with the camera strap on me. Here's Wolfdale Road. Wolfdale is mostly industrial. Oh, there's even a, uh, oh, this is a shared pathway for bikes and uh, pedestrians. And there's Huron Park over there. And I think that's Mavis Road up the street from here. And the next street lights. I'm gonna end it there and then I'll film another walking video, but you know, head north instead. My camera's at two bars though, but I think I still have enough juice for my second video. Okay, not second actual video, but the second walking video. That's a diesel bus. I think uh, they're rolling in. They're starting to roll in like, like electric uh, XL steers. They're called the XC40s. TTC has them. Also, I saw on the, C the uh, Canadian Public Transit Discussion Board website that among their fleets, I think my way has a Nova bus, a Nova LFS electric bus on trial. I know I've been walking up the north side for almost the entirety of this, and that's true because it's like there's like nothing to see on the south side. Look, Pizza Nova or something. Okay, this guy is backing up for me. Thank you. I forgot there's that. I forgot there's actually a pretty good view uh, down here. But what's is it another park? It's definitely not, uh, <laughs> it is definitely not uh, <laughs> Great River for sure. Or is that just a steep ledge? Cause look, the CN Tower is right there, right? Look at that guys. But you know what also is, is visible? Lake Ontario. There it is right there. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna cross to the other side and then it off with that view. So cool that the city skyline can be seen all the way from here. I love it. But no, if if I ever told my mom, would this remind you of home? It's gonna be an automatic no for her because she did not like living here.
there's a superstore there. Nice. Oh, Kill Regional Paramedics coming, coming your way. Oh, he's heading east. All right then. Oh, and he's cutting through traffic too. Always make way for the first responders. I think I've been around here before. Looks to be it. Oh, holy hell, even Young and Eglinton can't be seen from here. This far. Let me see if I can uh, find my way down there and end it up with a view. Yeah, that is Dundas Street West. And I'm gonna end it off. Look, this is for further view. All right, so I'm gonna wrap it up in a couple of minutes. Take a quick break and start my next one. A lot of motorcycles here, man. Jeez. There's the Marilyn Monroe Towers. Oh man, here we are. Not really have a view anymore because these stupid high rises are blocking the tower's view, but you can still see it any regardless. Financial district is peeking up behind there. Oh, that's an Orion bus right there. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll have it show my face for this one, but it's okay. It's my choice if you want to do it or not. But again, just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Check out my efforts as well. And don't take any uh, shit from any from, uh, from people who just want to be assholes. That's all. That's my advice to you. Especially as, you know, I'm, I'm sharing this to people who I may not know with. Or those that have been following me for a while. Alright, guys. Take care. Adios. Sayonara. Bye-bye.